Aviation expert Gordy Ike joins me now on the news to discuss this. He's joining us from Abuja. Thank you, Gordy, for joining us. Now, this is uh, the second incident uh, involving the new aircraft in four months, killing all persons. How worrying is it? Uh, because uh, the um, airworthiness of the Air Boeing 737 is being uh, brought under scrutiny. Uh, not necessarily... Um, uh Boeing 737, but then we are looking at the MAX, the 737 MAX. Uh, I must say this is a sad one, and uh, one more crash, too many. Um, uh, uh, while investigations uh, uh, continue at uh, the crash site right now in um, uh, Ethiopia, let's draw some comparison you know, uh, from what happened in uh, Indonesia uh, not more than six months ago. Uh, w the same model of aircraft and what was learned from that particular accident when it fell into the Java Sea. Now, the 737 MAX is said to uh, have equipped in it um, an anti-stall system which helps, uh, you know, in an auto fashion, helps to bring down the nose of the airplane anytime it finds itself on a high angle of attack. Uh, what, what we mean by high angle of attack is the fact that if your pitch is so high up there in the air, you lose airspeed. And uh, the next thing that follows when you lose airspeed is stall. The plane just stops flying and then it, you know, it, it falls vertically off the sky. So in order to correct that and help pilots you know, keep their flights as safe as can be, uh, uh, Boeing installed this anti-stall system, which any time the sensor you know, equipped with it notices a high angle of attack, that anti-stall system kicks in and moves the elevator into a positive position which, which tips up the, the tail of the airplane and the manual that the airplane was delivered with, and I'm, I'm discussing now when it happened in Indonesia, the findings made there, the, the manual hadn't any information about that new installation and pilots were not trained to know how to quickly disengage it you know, uh, any time it kicked in and began to misbehave, this one is one too many. Uh, the world cannot fold its arms and watch this sort of thing going on. Uh, my recommendation is that all the Max series should be recorded so that they find out what exactly is the problem. Now, in Indonesia, it was a few minutes after takeoff. The pilot had difficulty controlling the airplane, sought permission to, to turn around and, uh, and return to uh, where it, it was flying off from. In, in a short while, the plane just went down on a nose dive and crashed into the Java Sea. Here again, the information is that six minutes into the flight, the pilot announced that he had a problem and would like to turn around and return. He got permission to return and suddenly, he disappeared from the radar. Exactly the same way it happened in, um, uh, in Indonesia. Indonesia.